This is a quick video to talk about battery voltage method of determining 3.7 volts or 3.71 volts, your 30% capacity level in relation to meeting lithium shipping values. I am not hazmat one trained. Your mileage may vary. Do not try this at home and all other at all, you know, warnings. Um, but we've gone through shipping batteries a few times and I just wanted to uh, kind of share how I determine capacity. This is my own method of determining capacity. Your mileage may vary. So this is a Cellmate charger. Uh, so C-L-L-M-A-T-E, available $12, $13 online. Hobby batteries, we have our charge lead, our balance lead. And this battery was actually run through my charger for long-term storage. So what you're gonna find is a lot of your capacity measurements, whether they're independent chargers or a DJI product, which I'll show in a second, they're conservative because they wanna keep the life of your pack in good shape. So they read a little bit low, but we're looking for 3.71 volts as far as like a 30% level, if I had to throw a number at it. So in, this comes up immediately to a full voltage pack through 11.1, .1. let's see. Cell one is a little bit higher than 30%. So 3.75, 3.78, 3.78, and I can go to mode, tell your max cell, min cell, and max min deviation. I like to check my packs this way just for their overall health. Um, and this tells me this overall pack is at 27%. But again, these capacity readings are conservative to keep the life of your pack safe. They're not concerned with meeting any kind of travel requirements. It's up to you to verify, and this pack would be a little bit high. So it's slightly above 30%. So I would want to discharge it some more. Just check the individual cells. So that's on hobby pack where you have an, an individual balance lead. Like I mean, perhaps you have a piece of equipment that's going to use an individual pack like that. Now, if we have a DJI product, they give us, this is for a Mavic Air. And by the way, be safe. Always take off your props before you're doing any sort of bench work. So DJI products, they'll give you a percentage. And again, this is conservative because they want to keep their product alive and keep you happy. So, But we can drill down and see the individual pack levels, the individual cell levels. Now granted, the Matrice or the Mavic has a three cell battery. Matrices are going to be six, but you can still drill down in and get this information very easily. We see 37, 37, 369. So this pack is at 30%. If we look at a just a battery voltage determination. And I fly with a 25% level because I know that I can get back to base from wherever I'm flying this this aircraft I keep in close and I want more time to do my job. But in this now we're showing 18 percent so this pack was at its self storage level dji smart product after it has been disconnected for 10 days not used it automatically goes to a this battery in particular goes to a storage level it came on originally at about 35 percent according to the battery meter again that's very conservative because they want to get you back on the ground safe if we look at how battery voltages work over time when you're working. There are many white papers about the difficulty of measuring a state of charge. If you just start looking up state of charge, there are many, um, like I say, white papers, discussions, professional developments about how do we measure state of charge? They look at overall voltage, and then they look at generally in their algorithm is how many, they call it Coulomb counting. How much electricity have we used over time? And then they have their algorithm figure out the nice little battery percentage that we humans can you know understand so if we look at how a battery voltage develops over time in use it's very high easy to determine this curve easy to determine hard 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 easy to determine at the end and this is all we care about for determining 30 percent state of charge for shipping again i'm not a hazmat one shipper don't listen to me um, but what happens is you get the spring back after you let it sit for time this is why if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna do a voltage method, get it lower than it should be. Get it lower than 3.7, get it lower than 3.71, because as it sits, it'll spring back. Check it after four hours of sitting and, and cooling down, because when they're hot and in working mode, the battery voltages are different. So the top of a, 
of a lithium polymer, lithium ion battery is easy to measure, and so is the bottom. State of charge articles usually deal with this difficult region where they're very flat. So use it, set your percentage meter on your DJI product, let's say you're using or any other product, and then let it sit in the for about four hours and check where the spring back is. Um, again, it's it's not defined, it's not definite, nothing's perfect, but hope this helps a little bit.